Well, as promised, uh, this is the other video that I said I'd be making about the aperture sizes and the uses of this ophthalmoscope. As you can see that I've set uh, the adapter setting to zero. This is the switch that helps you turn on the LED illumination. Well, if you look at the website, there are two versions of this uh, ophthalmoscope. One is called the Pocket Plus LED and the other is called the Pocket LED Ophthalmoscope. The basic difference I've noticed is that the Pocket Plus LED has a neutral filter. This is what uh, Welchelen is calling a neutral filter. It's basically a filter which apparently reduces the corneal glare. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference in video, but we're going to give it a try anyway. This is with the filter off. This is with the filter on. It's a very slight difference. I prefer to keep it on because I've seen that it does slightly reduce the corneal glare and it's much more comfortable for the patient. Now let's take a look at the diopter settings. Uh, well, uh, the diopter settings start from 0 and goes up to 20 and minus 20. So if you're trying to see something in the anterior chamber, you'd probably want to go uh, Push the diopter up in the positive settings. Uh, maybe start from zero and go up to minus uh, to plus two, plus four, plus six, eight, whichever you're comfortable with, and you have a clear view. But if you want to view the posterior chamber and the retina, then you'll have to dial it down to the negative diopter, starting from zero, and gradually changing the diopter settings to the point where you see the vessels clearly. So now let's look at the apertures, different apertures. Well, I think it has about six apertures. And first of all, this is the largest uh, aperture that we have. And this one is used for the completely dilated pupil. We use topic mite to dilate the patient's pupils. And this one helps to give a very clear visualization of the retina. This is for the mid dilated pupil. This is for the undilated pupil. For example, you're in your rounds and your professor asks you to take a look into the eye and you haven't dilated the patient's pupils, you can use this. It's quite comfortable. Now, here is a filter that I find is very useful. It's called a red filter. It's actually green colored, but it's called a red filter. This one is especially useful if you're viewing vessels or you're trying to view vessels in uh, on a retina where the background is too red. The vessels appear much clearer when you're using this filter. This is a slit filter. So this is another filter, it's called the blue light filter and usually this is used by uh, ophthalmologists when they're trying to view corneal ulcers after they have applied fluorescent dyes. The other one, I have no, not really used this, but I've been told that this is used to determine the cup disc ratio. So thank you for watching my video. This was all about apertures. I hope you enjoy using this ophthalmoscope as much as I did. Thank you.